Hi guys and welcome back. So today we're going to uh, quickly review the common logarithm, the natural logarithm, but we're going to uh, primarily focus our energy on how to use the ln key and then the e key. So let's go ahead and do this. So what is the common logarithm? So a uh, flashback because we did this a while back. Uh, a common logarithm is just the name given to a logarithm with base of base 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and write uh, log base uh, base 10 of whatever we want to take the logarithm of. So in this case, we want to take the logarithm of x. But the thing is, when the base of the logarithm is 10, we typically don't write it. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and write it as log of x. Now the question is, when I have a problem like this, how do I know what the base is? When we have a logarithm and the base is not highlighted, then it's implied that the base is 10. Cool. All right. So that's it. Now, what is natural log logarithm? Natural logarithm is the name given to a logarithm of base e. So it's like, okay, let's just write an expression with the logarithm base e. So we have log base e, whatever that is. And let's just say we're going to take the logarithm of x. Okay. So we have logarithm base e of x. But this is the thing. When we have a logarithm of base e, we typically don't write it as log base e. We're going to rewrite it as the natural log, hence natural logarithm. What is the natural logarithm? Natural logarithm is the name given to a logarithm of base e. Okay, so we're going to write it as natural logarithm. We're going to go ahead and put ln. I know it sounds like we should put like nl, but no, we write ln. And then there's no need to highlight the base. Okay, what are we taking the natural what are we taking the logarithm of with base e? In this case, we have natural log of x. Now, to avoid having the uh, lowercase l uh, being confused with the digit 1, um, sometimes you're going to see it in the book italicized. I'm not really good at writing italics, so I'm just going to write it in cursive. Oh, it's been a while since I've written something in cursive. Okay, So if I write it like this, I don't risk the possibility of me confusing the lowercase l with the digit 1. Okay, so the question is, how do I know what the what the base of uh, the logarithm is? So if we have the natural logarithm, then that is implying that the base is e. Okay, cool. So let's do this. So we have uh, again, we're gonna focus our energy on using our calculator. So hopefully this will tone down the length. So the directions read: use a calculator to evaluate the following to four decimal places. And for some weird reason, uh, the answers are right there. I guess I get a little bit nervous. So problem A, let me go ahead and write it. And I want to know uh, what does E evaluate to uh, to four decimal places. So let me go ahead and look for my E key. Okay. So in the calculator, as you can see, I have main keys and then what I call the behind keys. Okay. Depending on your model, the behind keys can be like uh, light blue, pink, or whatever. So pretty much the behind keys are the same colors as the second. So if what we're looking for is uh, typed in on the actual button, then that's it. Okay, we punch it in. But if what we're looking for is not like on the actual button, but it's like on top of it, then that's what I'm going to call the behind key. Okay, so then I'm like, okay, where do we have the E key? Okay, unless I overlook something, I don't have like a, a E key as my main key. Okay, but I have this E to the X. Okay, notice how it doesn't say just E, it says E to the X. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay. Uh, I can't make it any bigger. Sorry. Okay. So we have an E, but I want to point out that it, it's not just E. It says E to the X. So the calculator is expecting for us to enter an exponent. So E to some power. Okay. So now the E key is not our main key. It's our behind key. And if you want to use any of the behind keys, you're going to have to hit second. Okay. So let's go ahead, turn this on. We have second E. And then it has e raised to some power, okay? Exponent is 1. Why? Because we just want e, okay? But we're going to have to enter it as e to the first. You don't really have to close the exponents, but this is something that I like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. So go ahead, put the close grouping symbol. Now we're going to hit enter, okay? Before I do, let me write down the calculator keystrokes for my peace of mind, okay? Do we have to do this? Absolutely not, okay? Calculator keystrokes. Oh, this is in my way, okay? calculator keystrokes to remind me we have second and then we have the e to the x ok 
okay and then it gives us uh, the exponent already pops up but I'm just gonna go ahead put it anyways and then we want to put exponent of one okay so I'm hoping that if I uh, remind myself of the keystrokes I won't worry about like ah, how did I do it okay so you punch it in and that gives us two point something and change. So what I want to point out is that E is just some irrational number. That's about 2.718, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, write down uh, the decimal approximation, rounded to four decimal places. Uh, I'm not really good at rounding, so with your permission, we're gonna put the fourth uh, decimal digit and then we'll put the fifth one for fun, okay? So we have about 2.718. 28 okay we are asked to round to four decimal places so let's locate the digit in the first place we have one two three four and then we're gonna go ahead look uh right next door so friendly reminder if it's five or higher we're gonna round up if it's less than five we're gonna round down in this case we're gonna round up so that will give us a uh, three the digits <laughs> I don't know how to speak the digits before them um, stay put and then we ignore the remaining decimal digits so thanks to our coolness we have that to four decimal places we have that e is about 2.718 fantastic so we have one problem down three more to go problem b we have 15 times natural log of e to the third power okay 15 times natural log of e to the third power i know that we can use i know that we're supposed to use our calculator because we want to get that practice but you know what this this problem i think we can freehand it okay so whenever we have a, a number before the logarithm regardless of the base the operation between the number and the logarithm is multiplication so let me just remind myself so this means 15 times natural log of e to the third power okay so now I want to highlight what the base of the natural logarithm is, okay? The base of the natural logarithm we had just said is, is E. So we have that the base of the logarithm is E, the base of the argument is E. Since the bases are the same, they're going to undo each other, and that will leave us just with the exponent of the argument, namely 3, okay? So that will leave us with 3 times 15, and that gives us 45 cool so we did it by hand so we don't really need to use the calculator but we're gonna do this uh, one more time because we want to make sure we we know how to enter this on the calculator so i'm gonna call this b2 because it's the same exact problem and then again okay now someone asked i know that we're supposed to use the calculator to round uh is it okay if, if we go straight to answer and the answer is yes you don't have to show me like five decimal digits and then round just just go to the punchline okay so we have we're gonna enter 15 times we're gonna uh someone said do you really need to put the times button uh you, you actually don't okay the if you uh omit it you put 15 uh natural logarithm where is that okay it's that ln key so uh if you want to enter the common logarithm or the logarithm of base 10 you're going to use log logarithm if you're going to enter the natural logarithm then you hit the ln key okay so whether you go uh whether you put 15 times natural logarithm or uh, go straight to 15 natural logarithm the calculator understands that the operation and multiplication is just for me i'm just so used to putting the times okay so we have 15 times natural logarithm of e to the third power so we're going to go ahead and look for that e key remember the e key is not the main key it's the behind key and if you want to use the behind key you need to hit second okay so second and then e okay so the calculator is saying is e to some power in this case we want e to the third power Let's go ahead close the exponent so we, we put one um, close grouping symbol and then we're going to go ahead close the argument so we need a second grouping symbol we already did this problem by hand so uh we just want to make sure we punched it into the calculator correctly we hit enter and that gives us 45 as expected okay we have two problems down two more to go so let me go ahead enter problem c okay Hi guys, so um, I updated problem C because um, I I wanted the problem to highlight uh, what I wanted to talk about. So let's do this. So the revised problem for C is negative uh, 2.57 times the natural logarithm of two ninths. And the answer has been updated as well 
update it to the new problem. So let's do this. So we want negative 2.57. Uh, uh, the popular mistake is that students will uh, uh, oftentimes enter the subtraction sign instead of the negative button. Uh, what happens when I enter the subtraction uh, button instead of the negative button? Okay, so I don't see a negative sign. Okay, I, I see this funky A and S minus. Okay, so what the calculator is saying is this. Because we entered the subtraction button, the calculator says, I got you. I'm going to take the previous answer and subtract whatever you're going to punch in. Okay, so please be careful. If you generally need the operation to subtract, then you hit the subtraction button. But if you need the negative sign, then you use that negative sign. Okay, so it's the one that's wrapped up. So let's go ahead, clear this. I'm going to hit the negative button, 2.57. And then you can go straight and punch in the times. You can go straight to the natural log, uh, natural logarithm button, but for me, force of habit, you know, I'm gonna hit the times, okay? So with or without the times, same speech, okay? So we have negative 2.57 times the natural logarithm of two ninths. So we're gonna go ahead, put two divided by nine. Uh, someone said, do I really have to enter the fraction as a division problem? And the answer is no. It's just that for me, I don't use the fraction key a lot. I'm so used to entering them as a division problem. Okay, something that I want to point out is this. Uh, I purposely, I'm going to not close the argument because I want to stress the importance of putting the close parentheses so you can close the argument. The way the calculator is interpreting my response is, okay, we're going to take that negative 2.57 and then multiply it by the natural logarithm of 2. And then whatever that is, we'll divide it by nine. So again, I'm, gonna, I'm purposely making a mistake, okay? And then we enter it, and um, I'm having a moment because although I entered it incorrectly, the calculator can still read my mind, okay? So uh, that's not good. Don't assume that the calculator is always gonna read your mind. So let me enter it correctly. So we got negative 2.57 times the natural logarithm of two ninths. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you do close the argument, okay? Uh, so for some weird reason, I'm still getting the right answer, okay? So close the argument, and then we uh, let's go ahead and round it. So that's about to four decimal uh, places. Uh, we have negative 3.865, I'm reading this off the screen, so I'm not sure we have one, two, three, four, five. I think I wrote them correctly. You want to round it to four decimal places. So uh, when we look right next door, in this case, we're going to also round up, okay? So that will give us five. We keep the digits before it, and then we ignore the remaining decimal digits. So to four decimal places, negative two points, negative 2.57 times the natural logarithm of two ninths is about negative 3.8655. Okay, cool. Three problems down, one more to go, and then we're out. Okay, problem D. We have logarithm. Let's go ahead open the argument. We have 4.76 times 10 to the ninth power. So that's pretty spicy. Okay. So someone said, hey, uh, what is the base of the logarithm? If the base is not highlighted, then that implies that we have a logarithm base 10. So this will be the common logarithm. So let's go ahead do this. Let's clear it out. Hit LOG, log the uh, open parenthesis automatically pops up. So let's go ahead, enter the argument, and then close the argument. So we have 4.76 times, so go ahead, put the times button, where am I? Cool, uh, right about there, times 10 raised to the ninth power. So we're gonna look for that exponent key. Depending on your model, it may be the caret key, like the one that looks like a little house. It could be like y to the x or something else, okay? I don't have all the models. Okay, so we have raised to the ninth power. So uh, once again, right now the way I have it, I'm supposed to get the wrong answer, but for some weird reason, the calculator is reading my mind. Love yourself and have good notation. Close the argument. When the expressions are a little bit longer, like if you have a sum or, or a quotient, you're not gonna get the right answer. Okay, so let's go ahead, uh, hit enter. And then we're going to put our uh, four decimal digits with the fifth one for fake extra credit. So that will be about 9.67760. And then the fifth one to help us round. We want to round our answer to four decimal places. So let's look, identify the rounding digit and then look right next door. In this case, we are going to round down. So we're, so we're going to round down by keeping the digit as is. 
all the digits before them stay put and the remaining decimal digits get ignored. Okay guys, that's my time. Thanks.